the book of Psalm 68. Psalm 68 in verse number 19 I'm using New King James translation which says blessed be the Lord who daily loads as with the benefit, the God of our salvation. And verse 20 says that to us God is God of salvation, and with him are the escapes from death. Amen. Amen. Those two verses in my life they are very practical amen. Amen. amen but this hour I'll talk first 19 and that day first 20 wow. amen <laughs> our God loads us daily someone say daily daily, daily. 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 with benefits so we are in the kingdom of benefits Amen. kingdom of benefits. kingdom of benefits because our gods in his system he loads us and it is a continuous thing yeah. amen. amen so we can uh, build faith in this life where you will say there is no single day which I will not receive benefit. Amen. 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 So we can conclude by saying then in this kingdom we are the beneficiaries. In this kingdom we are the beneficiaries. Amen. In this kingdom. You see, there are notions in the world and in religion. And sometimes you can have a misconception of something and then become a stronghold in your life. Because, for example, if you go, not only in America, even in Africa, Asia, wherever, you will find this one common thing where almost all the members of the church having the notion that whatever they do for God, they benefit God. You'll find it. And also you'll find it with even pastors and bishops and ministers having the same I think they spoil people more than they are spoiled. Yeah. Because they are the one who begin by saying, thank you for coming. Oh, oh. Yes. Now, if I begin by telling you thank you for coming, one thing you think that you have come to benefit me. Praise the Lord. Yeah. There is no way me I can tell people thank you for coming to the church. Why? You have come, I have come. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's receive benefit, we go home. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's Praise the Lord. Amen. Do you know I'm about to, to finish the service? Yes. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> with, with, the kind, with such kind of heavy stuffs, you don't take long. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, so all of us, we must have a session of rectification. Yeah, yeah. Pastors, mm -hmm. amen. Yes. 
they must do away with some slogans. You bless God's people. Tell them may God bless you. But no thank you. Amen. And you when you do something. Don't wait to be thanked by the pastor. Thank you for giving. Now if pastor also is giving. Yeah? Bishop if you are giving. And the members are giving. Then when they demand thank you from you. That's unfair. Because if you, if you thank them. Who will thank you? Praise the Lord. Amen. Everyone say, we are the beneficiaries. Are the beneficiaries. Amen. Amen. And that's why, when I was writing this book, I retitled again, if you can see where I was designing the cover, because you see me, I design my covers. Yes. Bishop knows. Yeah, I have yeah, the gadget I designed. If you can see where I do, was designing, it was many titles until I concluded, we are the Kingdom service beneficiaries. Mm. Yeah. We are the kingdom service. That means when we serve God. Amen. Amen. We are not serving a weakling God. Yes. We are not serving a neighbor God. Yes. We are not serving helpless God. Yes. It is, it is, I mean, uh, we, we, we can say it is a um, uh, our great advantage for him to allow us to serve. Uh, there is this holy man of God. Everyone say holy man of God. Holy man. Yeah, this this one man I love. His name is uh, Job. In the Job. Did he too many things because I think during his days there was no Bible. And uh, Job uh, spoke some things which were not okay. And uh, his three friends were not be able to rectify Job until a young preacher. Some will say what young preacher. Young preacher. young preacher with the word of God came and solve the problem of Job by preaching to him. Because I think Job didn't need someone to sympathize with him. And uh, in Job 35, verse number 6, because I'm saying this, because Job is not alone. There are many brothers and sisters of Job. They think of the same. There are people even who think that uh, being holy, I help God. I add something. But this young preacher preached to Job and said to him, from verse number six, I'm using amplified fashion now. If you have sinned, how does that affect God? Question number one. Even you. If you have sinned, what does that affect God? Because there are people who think that if I sin, God will become sick. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy. Yeah? Yeah. If your transgression are multiplied, how what have you done to him? Again, if you are righteous, what do you by that give God? Or what does he receive from your hand? Your wickedness touches and affects a man such as you are. Not God. And your righteousness is for yourself. Everyone say, my righteousness is my for myself. My righteousness is for myself. Hey, utasema. My righteousness is for myself. You know, you, 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 your pastors and bishops, you have the habit of people to say. Even you, you will say. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, is it, your wickedness touches 
and affect a man such you are, and your righteousness is for yourself, one of the human race, but it cannot touch God who is above such influence. Amen. Amen. Yes, cannot forget this day, this young man, Nyang Red were quoting, and I was doing ministry in Mombasa, and I took them to uh, I mean to the ocean, to the beach, told them me I will read my book here because I'm reading a book and you, you go and talk your things there. And I told them make sure you talk about future, talk, talk, talk about how many children you want to have, then you come. I think they forgot to talk about it and they, 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 they became so romantic. And uh, the young man thought that I need to marry this lady within one week. So he came where I am, I say, have you talked? Yes, we have talked, but I have realized I need to do my wedding very soon. And you pastor, if you not quicken my wedding, I'll backslide. <laughs> so I continue reading because he has concluded what he will do. And after maybe 10 minutes, he said, did you hear what I said? I said, yes, I heard you clearly. And you are doing nothing about it. I said, I have done it. I have given you an opportunity to go and backslide. Is it, that's the way you are pastoring nowadays. You tell me to go and backslide. I said, you are the one who said, if we will not do your wedding within one week, you will backslide. Now, you go and backslide and see. If that day, the name of God will be removed one letter D, and from that day we call God Go. <laughs> yeah? I preached to that young man for 15 minutes. He began to sweat. Say, so you know you people. In your small mind, you think that your holiness benefit God. And that's why even many members think if I come and arrange chairs in the church, God will have somewhere to sit. He will be comfortable. His name is El Shaddai. Someone say El Shaddai. All sufficient. All sufficient. All you see, sometimes if we listen to his language, someone say his language, we can be delivered. We can be liberated. Amen. Amen. Remember, I'm commissioned by God to liberate humanity Amen. from every satanic bondage through preaching and teaching the knowledge of truth. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, I might not uh, do deliverance to you but before you wake up there, you'll be liberated. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Psalms 50, verse 7 and 13. Listen to me. Let me use this TPT translation, although you can use your translation. Oh, my people, listen well, for I am your God. I am bringing you to trial, I mean to trials, and here are my charges. I don't rebuke you for your sacrifices which you continually bring to my altar. Do I need your young bull or goats from your fields as if I were hungry? Every animal of the field and the forest belong to me, the creator. I know every movement of the bird in the sky and every animal of the field is in my thoughts. The entire world and everything it contains is mine. If I were hungry, do you think I would tell you? No. That's God talking. That's God? Talking. Now, you are sitting down there. If God is hungry, do you think he can tell you? You are quiet. No. Can you feed God? No. Oh. Praise the Lord. I want to preach a praise 
it was a conference where they call about three, more than two speakers. It is my culture to go to listen to others. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because I'm not Merk Sadek. I like going when uh, the first speaker is speaking the first day to be there also to receive. So I went there the first day and the host uh, was astonished to see me in the first day because I was coming the third day. So he decided to allocate, I mean, uh, somewhere, something I can do. And I was not coming to do anything. So he said, you can pray for the offering. He said, it's okay. Then I asked him, where is the offering? I was looking. And I saw the offering and uh, it was in a praying basket where it is very feasible. In Africa, you know that kind of... Uh, <laughs> then I said... Uh, uh, I asked him, is it for Sadi school? Because they were all coins. He said, no. The people have given it in revival. Then I decided to pray. But God said to me, return it to them. Hey. Coins. Then I said, Everyone come and pick your offering. <laughs> that was unique. You, you, okay, uh, people are coming and picking it. And there were two shillings. You know two shillings, eh? You don't know how you can call it in dollars, cents, yeah? They, they remain two, two shillings there. And I say, the owner must come and pick this so that we may go. If you don't come, I will not release you. Guess what? A multimillionaire man lose. He had given two bob. Lose slowly and pick this two bob. Then I had no choice but to preach about 10 minutes. And I told people, let's see if we don't give today, if God will not be alive tomorrow. If we are the one who feeds him. <laughs> because I think what provoked me is that millionaire. He had, uh, I mean, houses and houses, lento houses. One, one, one area about 40. Another area about 20. Another in bringing two shillings. That means the mentality is that let me at least uh, try to, you know, if we have the language of helping God and supporting God, we will miss the benefit of the kingdom. We are the beneficiary. Because it is God, the owner of everything, in comparing us in his company. Amen. Ah. Amen. It, is, it is God who has everything. Everything. When we were building the church, I told people, guys, better you do something because we have come here to build the church of God who is able to a uh, commission only one angel to come and finish it within one night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. You see, the love of our God, he look for an opportunity to, to bless us mm -hmm. or to do something mm -hmm. in our life or so that we may have the benefit. Yes. So he incorporate us in his kingdom. Amen. And he tell you to do something literal. Something? Now, I, I, I want you to see something in the book of Exodus. And I want you to check in your Bible. Exodus 23, verse 25. Mm -hmm. And you see, 
uh, the kind of benefit, you know, the benefit of kingdom service are the things which are beyond money. Beyond? beyond. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the, what, when I say the, the benefit of kingdom service, these are the things which even money cannot do. Right. He said this, if you are following me, when I was a teenager, I swallowed the Bible, so if you don't know me reading it, don't try imitate me, read yours. He says this, <laughs> you will serve the Lord, you are God, comma. That is the only your part. Your part is that one line. You shall serve the Lord my God. Someone say, I shall serve the Lord my God. I shall serve the Lord my God. Then from there, up to verse number 28, he is the one now who will be in charge of doing things to you. So we do very retro. Ah. And what God do to us? Ah, it's a privilege. If you have someone who is allowing you to do very little and do great things, then you are the beneficiary. Yes. That means you are not helping that person. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Uh, you, you shall serve the Lord. You are God. And that is the end of your assignment. Then From there, he declare what he will do. He begin by saying, "Then I will bless your bread and water." Yes. That means that means this is the meaning of it. If you serve the Lord, you will not pray for daily bread. You will not join the club of those who pray for daily bread because your bread will be already there. That's why he say he will. I will bless your bread because your bread is there. The provision that is means you will serve the Lord. The first benefit is divine provision. Someone say divine provision. Someone say divine provision. I wish you can believe in God of divine provision. Amen. Because without divine provision, without divine, you spend your health looking for wealth. Amen. Then in old age, you consume all the wealth trying to recover the health. Better divine provision. Amen. And he said the second thing he will do in that fast, I will take away sickness from you. There is no doctor who can take away sickness from your body. There, those who serve God, it is not healing. It is divine health. He didn't say, I will heal you. He said, I will take away. Amen. I tell people, I think I'm a man who becomes sick many times, unknowingly. But I don't fear, because there is God who comes during the night and take it away. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Imagine, your part is only serving God. So any man of God who will give you an opportunity to do something, that man loves you. Amen. Any woman who will give you an opportunity of doing anything in the, in the house of God, you are not helping that man. Amen. Never, never make a statement, oh, we have come to support you, Bishop. What? <laughs> support who? You are here to support yourself. You need health. You need good health. Yes. You need God who can enter inside your body and remove any sickness. Yes. And I thank this God. Every time he removes sickness from you, he check on those who hate you. Yes. He don't throw it away on the air. No. He said in Deuteronomy 7.15 that I will take all sickness from you and praise them on those who hate you. It is the Bible. It is what? <laughs> so those who have God, they don't worry who hates them. <laughs> Are you following me? 
<laughs> those who serve God. You see, someone like me, I don't care whom to please. You have to love me deliberately. Or otherwise, huh? me, I serve God. <laughs> Serve God that I got to many continents. Somebody say continents. Continent. Not only countries. Somebody say continents. Continent. With a different kind of weather. Yes. So you can imagine the kind of sickness trying to attack me. Yeah. Or enter me. Mm-hmm. Eh? Mm-hmm. But there is God whom I serve. Amen. And he does not send any doctor. Mm-hmm. He's the one who enter inside my faculties. And see any strange thing. He remove it. And while he's holding it away, he look aloud. Who hate my servant? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? According to Psalm 69, verse 4, those who hate you without a cause are more than the number of your hair. Those who, you have done nothing to them. Oh. That's why that book, Conquering, Controlling, spirit of hatred how you can hate that spirit of those who hate you it is through serving god Amen. Yeah? serving god without looking for anyone to say thank you to you because you know you are the beneficiary if you are working somewhere do you wait for where you work for them to tell you thank you oh what about if you come very early? Do you want to tell you, you are looking for the way they will tell you thank you? No, you are the beneficiary. Hmm? Praise the Lord. Amen. And in the case the 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 they stops you working, you might cry. Why? Because you are benefit. Why? Then let the same attitude, use the same attitude in kingdom service. Yes. In fact, they feel bad when they are try they try to stop you from serving God. Yes. Yeah, yes. huh? Because th- those are enemies. Number three benefit, Amen. Are you following me? Yes. You are then. He will prolong your days, and your days will be fulfilled. Amen. Amen. There is no amount of money can add your days. No. (laughs) You will fulfill your days. Why? Because your days are written in the volume of the book. This God says these are his days. These are her days. So when you serve God, you will not die premature because your days will be fulfilled. Amen. To be fulfilled. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But remember, your part is only that one verse. You shall serve the Lord your God. Then, from there, to verse 28, he is saying he is the one who will do it. Someone say, I'm the beneficiary. He said, that no one will miscarriage or be barren. Yes. That means divine progress. Oh. Eh? Divine what? Progress. progress. Benefit of divine progress. In your business, you will not be barren. In ministry, you will not be barren. In life, you will not be barren. Yes. But your part is serve God. Amen. Amen. Another benefit there, if you are following the scriptures, me, I'm inside the scriptures. He says, I will send the fear ahead of you. I will send what? Fear. He said, I will send, uh, I call it divine commotion. Some will say divine commotion. Yeah, divine commotion. Yeah. Ahead of you. Praise the Lord. Ahead of you. And your enemies will run away before you reach there. <laughs> now, your part is serving God. Somebody say serving God. Serving God. So, in conclusion, let us serve God. Amen. Whether one is watching or not. 
and when you serve God, delete in your mind that you are supporting a human being. Because even the person you think you are supporting also is having God to be paid by God. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Also, the man you think you are, you are supporting, you think because you are not. You are that man, all of them, you are serving God. Because even that man you think you are supporting, he is oppressed like you. He needs divine health also, to, like you. Praise the Lord. When people say, oh, bishop, want to support you, what you are doing. No, don't support me. Come, we do something. And then we look up. Yes. Is a reward. Amen. Someone say, is a reward. Yes. Someone say, is a reward. Yes. In the book of uh, Hebrew 6, verse number 10 says, for God is not wicked. Yes. Another translation is, for God is not unfair. Another translation says, for God is not, not unjust to forget two things. Someone say two things. The Bible says, you are work and you are labor. God is completely different from men. People can forget what you do to them. In fact, I don't know why men and women, they have the, this tendency of forgetting any, any good things you do to them. People can forget. But our God is a recorder and a rewarder. The Bible says, He cannot forget your labor and your work. Amen. Someone say, He cannot forget. Someone say, He cannot forget. Amen. Let me tell you something. Even what you have done and no one has seen it. The one who sees in secret will reward you openly. Amen. And only God reward openly. Yes. God is the one who announced to the world, this is what my, my servant has been doing behind the scene. So he announced it by doing unusual things in your life. Amen. That's why in God's kingdom, you can wake up one morning poor, but in the end of the day, the wealthiest woman in the land. Oh, amen. That is, can happen only in the kingdom. Yes. Why? Because God who has been following you, seeing what you have been doing, and recording it. That's why in this kingdom, if you see someone serving God diligently, don't pity that person. Don't pity. This pastor came to my office, Bishop, and he narrated many things, crying uncontrollably. A whole man crying. And the more he was crying, the more I was smiling. The more he was crying, the more I was smiling. Finally, he asked me, Bishop, are we together? The man was, the man, it was like, you know, it was like I was in Hollywood. The man was telling me the thing he has gone through in his life. Oh my. Yes, he told me, Bishop, listen to me. There is this day my wife refused to open the door for me. Because... She asked me if I have come back with the food. I say I not. He's, he said to me, if no food, I'm not opening the door. <laughs> so the man of God says, I slept outside. It was raining. <laughs> and I was smiling. <laughs> it's like Hollywood. <laughs> then finally he asked me, are you listening to what I'm saying? I have listened. I say, you say me, you told me 10 years ago, this happened. Oh, you listened to everything. Huh? And why is it not, are you not moved? <laughs> is it not touching you? 
Yeah. See, it has really touched me. <laughs> and I have really envied you. Because God of heaven who is a rewarder, when he comes down oh, yes. to reward all your labor, mm-hmm. to reward all your work, mm-hmm. Hi. so the reason why I'm smiling, I'm envying you. I'm envying you. The reward is great. The reward is great. Now, for example, for example, amen. amen. This is an example. Jesus said in Matthew 5, verse 11 and 12, I think in 13, he says, Blessed are you when people persecute you, accuse you, and say all manner. Somebody say all manner. manner. Of evil things falsely against you. Then he says, That time rejoice and be glad exceedingly because you are reward from heaven is great. Ah, is that the time to rejoice? According to Jesus, is that time to rejoice because what people have said against you falsely, it is God who comes with reward to prove them wrong. So when people say all manner of evil things, God comes with the divine announcement. Yeah, divine announcement. Mm. There is this man who was accused, is it? And he went through difficulties called Joseph. You know Joseph? Yes. But one morning God came with a divine announcement. Mm. With a what? Divine That's why this man, one morning he was a prisoner. In the evening he was a prime minister. Yes. It can happen to you. Yes. Serve God. Yes. Someone say I'll serve God. <laughs> Yeah, come on, say I will serve God. Serve you know, serve God from today with a revelation. Amen. Amen. There is no one who serves God and end up his life in regret. Yes. Amen. Amen. I was young. I was yeah. when my eyes landed to this verse and can be our last verse. Then we pray. Job 36, verse number 11. It is the backbone first of this book. You are the beneficiary. Says, I saw it. And I think that time I was reading NIV. So I saw it saying, if you obey and serve the Lord, you will spend the rest of your days. So what captured my, my attention is the rest of your days. Aye. Someone say the rest of my days. Someone say the rest of my days. Say even in old age. He said, you shall spend the rest of your days in prosperity. Ah. And the rest of your years in contentment. That means you will lack nothing. Ah. You will have more than enough until you are fully contented. So you will spend the rest of it. Everyone say the rest of my days. The rest of my days. Hmm? The rest of my days. Nafikiri tunayasai sema kama Hmm. Najua there is fear of an unknown. You can conquer the fear of unknown through serving God. <laughs> Amen. It is not stupidity that we have been serving God this way. The rest of our days. Amen. Amen. You might forget many verses. Don't forget Job 36 verse number 11. Some will say the rest of my days. days. Say the rest of my days. days. Prosperity. Prosperity. Hmm? So kingdom service causes you to spend the rest of your days in prosperity. Huh? No poverty, no age. Ah, you are missed a good place to say amen. amen. No poverty, no age. Because a good man like you leaves inheritance to his children children. Or don't you think you need don't you think you need wealth during those days? Yes. Where no one can employ you? Yes. Yeah. 
But remember when you serve God, the rest of your days. The rest? The rest of your days. Someone say the rest of my days. Of my days. Say the rest of my days. Of my days. So, in conclusion, you are not here to support anyone. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you're the beneficiary. You are the beneficiary. I am. You are the beneficiary. Even coming to church, you are the beneficiary. Because these are very good king kingdom. When I was going through the system of this kingdom, there is no kingdom like our kingdom. Like the kingdom of our God. Because in this kingdom, there is even sitting allowance. Hey! Sitting what? I saw it. I saw it in Hebrew uh, 11 verse number 6. That those who come to God, amen, amen. must believe yes. that he is a rewarder yes. of them that seek him. Yes. We come to church to seek him. Yes. You sit down to seek God. Yes. You have been sitting down there to seek. Oh. Hello? Yes. And because of that, there is a sitting allowance. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes. Yeah, Hebrew 11 6. Yeah, sitting allowance. Yeah. Amen. So somebody like me, I'll go with two allowances, studying and sitting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody say, I am the beneficiary. I am the beneficiary. Yeah, you coming and sitting down, hearing the word of God, he's a rewarder. Yeah. You are the beneficiary. Yeah. Because the Bible says, those who sat down in the book of Malachi 3.16, those who sat down and discussed about the kingdom, the book of Chronicles was written and was set before God. And the Bible says, a day is coming, I will bring divine distinction. People will know between those who serve me and those who don't serve me. So even sitting down, hello, even the way we sat down yes, yes. until past midnight. Yes, yes. We were not discussing dowry. No, no. Huh? <laughs> what we were discussing uh, kingdom matters. So even yesterday night, there is a reward for that. Uh, so we need no one to tell us thank you. So all of us we were sitting down. Who could tell the other one thank you? If you are waiting for me to tell you both thank you because of coming to my house, may I cannot tell you. You are the beneficiary. If you are waiting for me to tell you thank you because of the shopping you brought in my house, ah no, no, you are the beneficiary. Amen. I I I serve God, who work with substitute. I know His nature. God works with substitutes. When he assigns you to do something, there is substitutes. He finishes first with a substitute. Obey. Hello? Are you hearing me? This is what I say. You, you, you know, when, when, when Mordecai said to Esther, you are raised because of this. But in a case you become cocky or proud, we will not perish. The deliverance for Jews will come from another priest. He's already there. He's o- uh, let me tell you something. Amen. You are the beneficiary. Someone say, I'm the beneficiary. And uh, it is an opportunity for you to do something. But if you don't do it, don't think that the kingdom of God will go down. Substitute is somewhere. Amen. So any day you got you get an opportunity. Someone say opportunity. opportunity. Someone say opportunity. opportunity. In the house of God. Yes. Diligently yes. pour your heart there. Amen. Grab that opportunity. Yes. Do it wholeheartedly. Amen. Because you are the beneficiary. Amen. 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 Refuse to see your substitute while you are still alive. Is a painful thing 
if you live to see your substitute. People of God, as you continue to serve God, divine provision will remain your portion. Amen. Divine health will remain your portion. Amen. I want you to reach a level say, no sickness is permitted to terminate my life. Yeah. Ah, you can say that. No hey, say no sickness. No. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't know the order of serving the communion, but I want you to target sicknesses. Yes. Amen. Yes. Through that communion table, target sicknesses. Yes. Hear me. Someone say, I'm hearing. Yes, I'm hearing. It is written. It is? It is written in the word of God. Yes. In the? The word of God. That as for you, everyone say, as for me. As for me. Genesis 15, 15. You will be buried in good old age. Yes. Amen. One is good. Yes. Good. Yeah. Wow. Good. 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 Good old age is where triple B is not your portion. Amen. Triple B. Somebody say triple B. Is where you are not a burden to anyone, yes. you are not a bother to anyone, yes. and you are not a beggar. Yes. That is good old age. Yes. Triple B. That is good. That in good old age, you are not a burden to any one of your children. Hey, you are not a bother. Ah, uh, you are not a beggar, but only capital B is yours. You are a blessing to your generation. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen. Praise the Lord. So, in this service, in this, Hallelujah, we will target three major enemies. Number one. Poverty. Poverty. Number two, Randomized. sickness. sickness. Number three, premature death. Oh, yes. Somebody say they are not my portion. They are not my, my portion. portion. You cannot, you cannot, you, you cannot use this body to serve the Lord, oh. then this body being eaten by cancer. No. No. Oh, oh, so you can tell cancer, wrong number, wrong number, not yes. here. This you, and you and you can you can tell any sickness. This body, this body is a vehicle to carry good news here and there, and to do this and that. So long number. Go to the neighbor. Long number. Eh, another ex did no, no, yeah, no. Why? Eh? Yeah, those who hate me, those who hate me, those who hate me. And they are there, they are there. You think you are a very good guy and everyone loves you. May God help you to, to, to discern uh, plastic smiles. Mm. <laughs> oh, brother, we are happy for you. In fact, when we see you in this land, we are very happy. And someone is saying in the heart, when will you be buried? Mm. Serve God. Amen. In this lad, in this lad, some will say in this lad. You don't have any other truth to make it in life. Yes. Only kingdom service. Yes. I tell you the truth. Yes. The system cannot allow you to make it. Only kingdom service. Yes. Hey. I'm telling you the truth. Any kingdom service can make you a king in such a land. Amen. You can have dominion Amen. over many things. Amen. Amen. Give us direction. Where is communion? Yeah. yeah. Kuna, there is no cutting the throat. Yeah. Oh, Praise the Lord. The blood. Yeah. 
First Corinthians chapter 10, verse number 16. Hold it. We have the bread, we have, we have the... Okay. 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 Removed. One cup. This is what the Bible says. Yeah. This is what the Bible says in First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 16. The cup of blessings which we bless. Is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? So, this cup I'm holding. There before was an ordinary cup. But when we bless it, when we do what? It becomes the cup of the communion of the blood of Christ. And also it says the bread in the cup. So here is a two in one. I think it is okay. It is prophetic because it is a cup and the bread. So because the same fast says one thing. Amen. Amen. You know, many people are waiting for him to say to carry thank you. No, you are the beneficiary. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Says this, the cup of blessings. So today, what we are having is cup of blessings. No devil can curse you. 
Amen. after this Amen. no witch or wizard Amen. can be able to bring you down Amen. because the blessings of the lord Amen. which even will come from within Amen. will take you far Amen. is it not the communion of the blood of jesus Amen. and then the bread which we break wow. and you can see it is cup and bread Amen. is it not the communion of the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So what we are having now is mysterious food. Mm -hmm. Mysterious? Food. Maybe you have been uh, taking it religiously. Mm -hmm. Today take it revolutionary. Amen. It is it, it is it is not ordinary bread. Mm -hmm. It is bread as you see it, mm -hmm. but the Bible says it is the communion of the body. Mm -hmm. And let's conclude this. Mm -hmm. Any sickness which could not eat the body of Christ mm -hmm. will not eat your body. Amen. 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 Any contamination which could not contaminate the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. will not contaminate your blood. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. And we target poverty. Mm. Oh. We target premature death. Mm. And we target sickness. Mm. They are not our portion. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. So I want all of us to do it prophetically. Mm. Amen. Amen. Allow us to do it today prophetically. Mm. Amen. Amen. So. Amen. So you will come for it. We will not bring it to you. Yeah, Amen. 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 Bishop, come. Mm. Prophetically. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Let's come. Yes. You take it and you go back. Mm. Revelationary. Revelationary. Because you are the beneficiary. Come, 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 people. Revelationary. Revelationary. Long life, no sickness, no poverty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And may you receive zeal to serve God without looking for anyone to tell you thank you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, hey, yeah. Huh. Take another one. Take another one. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Lift up the body. In agreement of faith, we agree that his body is our life his body is our life his body is our life and we shall finish well we shall finish the race here on earth well by the zeal of serving god in jesus name hallelujah partake of the body lift up the cup in agreement of faith, we agree. Mm -hmm. This is no longer the fruit of the vine, mm -hmm. but the blood of Jesus. Oh, yes. And in agreement of faith, we agree. Mm -hmm. Sickness, yes. which could not affect the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. will not what? affect our blood. No, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Therefore, long life, mm -hmm. divine health, divine provision mm. is our portion via this blood because the life of the flesh mm. is in the blood yes. and now what we are taking mm -hmm. is that resurrected life of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and resurrection power yeah. in Jesus name let me make prophetic revelation upon your life in the office of a prophet, I decree and declare. Amen. 
good old age is your portion. Yes. And before even you reach there, Lord, you will encounter unusual miracles Lord, yes. through kingdom service. Yes. I speak and I pray for zeal yes. to serve God more than yesterday. Yes. To serve God with a revelation. Yes. To serve God as if you are not serving any man. Yes. But you are serving the Lord. Yes. To serve God yes. as a beneficiary of kingdom service. Yes. And as one who have the privilege yes. and opportunity opportunity to hire her to to to, to go her higher height mm. in the name of jesus Christ. Sure. i prophesy the highest honor mm. the highest honor in the lord mm. which comes through kingdom service yeah. it is jesus who said yeah. if anyone serves me mm. my father will honor him yeah. may you are honored comes from heaven yeah. where no one will dishonor you in the Lord. Sure. In Jesus mighty name do I pray and trust. Amen. Shalom, peace, God bless you. Pacific Waves TV. I am a Pacific Waves TV.